I am tonight setting a clear goal for the energy policy of the United States. Beginning this moment, this nation will never use more foreign oil than we did in 1977. Never. Good morning, December 20th, 07. Good day to be alive. Our skies are clear. Our green energy is to thank for this beautiful day. The investment into American energy has caused the economy to skyrocket. This bullish new market has created millions of new jobs and continues to set new records. Our air is significantly cleaner and our country much less dependent on foreign sources of energy. Good evening. In this special edition, we take a look back at the 80s and give thanks to the American ingenuity that pushed for clean, safe, and inexpensive energy. The bold leadership improved the quality of life for all Americans. 90% of asthma cases disappeared, a climate change has been avoided, and peace and prosperity spread worldwide. America is addicted to oil, which is often imported from unstable parts of the world. America, we are by far the largest energy consuming nation in the world. We drive big cars, live in huge houses, and leave all our lights on. As other countries move toward conservation, the U.S. continues its unsustainable levels of consumerism. We need to get off of fossil fuels because they are the root of many problems that we have today. You know, between uh, natural gas and oil, that's way more than half uh, of all our energy consumption. Well, so we are very exposed. As oil production goes into steeper and steeper decline, it's going to affect uh, the price of everything. Conventional petroleum is already peaking. It started peaking in 2006. We're at the end of, uh, of that kind of, of economic prosperity. America is only 5% of the world's population, yet we consistently consume 25% of all the oil in the world. And of the oil we consume, 66% is imported. A national security point of view, if we were to become much more efficient, and less polluting, we wouldn't need to buy so much oil. Uh, then we wouldn't be dependent on the Middle East, and we wouldn't get involved with all of these uh, political problems as much. We're aiding Iran, uh, Russia, Venezuela, and their goals by basically giving them a lot of money. They're going to have a lot of money to spend on whatever they want to. You know, this money will go to different places, and terrorism needs sponsoring. On 9-11, most of the suicide bombers were from Saudi Arabia, and we get a large proportion of our oil from Saudi Arabia. But oil dependence not only creates sort of this security externality of potentially contributing to terrorism, but obviously uh, it's a major problem of contributing to climate change. <laughs> We are also doing something that, that will never be reversed in the lifetimes of us and our grand-grand-grandchildren. Temperature fluctuations, flooding, disease, and famine. If we keep doing what we're doing now, it could actually lead to irreversible consequences. We will not be able to exist by doing the same things uh, for a couple of more decades. I think the momentum is building now. It's sort of like the Titanic heading for the iceberg that um, by the time they saw the iceberg and they tried to turn the Titanic, it was too late. We are wasting time, and time is not on our side anymore. People are too greedy, they ain't gonna do nothing about it. Generation doesn't care. Why, why don't we care? It's just how we were raised. Out of sight, out of mind. Is it an issue? Of course it is. It's a, it's a, it's a hoax. What do you think it's gonna take? Something bad has to happen, World War III. Do you think it's a problem for this generation? Is it that big oh, of a yeah. problem? And even last generation, we're already late. Global warming, it's real, says the report, and it's people who are changing the climate on planet Earth. An elite unit of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps has been training and arming extremist Islamic fighters in Iraq, Lebanon, and the Gaza Strip. 400,000 people a year die prematurely.
Your generation should get mad. That's the first thing that you need to do. You should get angry. You have every reason to be angry. We really got to get up and fix this problem ourselves. As, this, as a new generation of young people, we're in crisis. We have to get up off the couch and save the planet. Throughout our history, Americans have had to stand up for progress. At this pivotal point, we the people are being called on again. It's time you pick it in a new way. With today's technology, we can again unite our voices as one. We must interact with our leaders to tell them what is right. The world used to follow America, and it's time that we together stand up and lead the world in the right direction. At youpicket.org, you can begin this movement for change.